everyone, Janice here from the Creation Guild and I was just about to start painting for the day but I wanted to share something with you about uh, living a spirit driven life and a thought that's been on my mind a lot lately is surrendering, surrendering to that divine plan and allowing and letting go and I thought maybe you might actually benefit from some of the thoughts that have been going through and the, the way that I try and surrender each day. So when you're living a life uh, that is spirit driven, it does require surrendering. And when you think that you've surrendered to this divine plan, um, you need to surrender more. So I find that it's a daily practice for me. I have been um, a do it yourself for all my life, a go getter. I need to do it. If I want to get it done right, I do it myself. And so surrendering for me is something that's always been very, very hard. And it's taken me years and years of building trust with the universe to allow me to get to the point where I'm starting to surrender more. And I realized this week that, you know, I, I go through the flow of surrendering and then it tightens up again and I need to surrender even more and let go even more. I tend to keep going back to that control every so often. So here are some steps you can take. There's actually four steps here that you can take to help you uh, release to that surrender. So first thing is when you get up in the morning, you need to move. Um, exercise helps get the blood flowing and it helps move the energy too. So no matter what kind of exercise you do, whether it's walking, uh, running, swimming, yoga, it doesn't matter. What you're doing is you're actually raising your vibration when you do that. It rises the energy up to meet that of the universe. So that's the first thing you need to do, especially if you're feeling a little bit in a slump, a little bit of sluggish energy, that is the best thing to do. Just get that blood flowing and get that energy moving and rising up to meet the universe. The second thing is, is after that you need to meditate. Meditating is the foundation to opening to that flow and really listening to the guidance and the inspiration that comes through for you. When we don't stop and take the time to listen to that, then we're not hearing the messages because they can be very quiet and subtle until we open our awareness to them. So take some time, take that 15 to 20 minutes to meditate and get yourself aligned. And if you want my meditation, the audio version, all you need to do is go to my website and sign up for it. You get it for free and you also get Monday morning um, tips for the week of how to live a spirit driven life and how to open to creative flow to bring more creativity and happiness to your life. So that's just a little side note. So uh, move and then and then do your meditation. Um, the third thing is, is while you're in that meditative state, um, ask some questions like ask questions like uh, what is trying to um, evolve in my life right now? What's trying to emerge? What What is it that needs to come through me? And then the question of how do I need to grow in order to allow that to move through me? So open to those questions to the universe. Ne don't say, you know, what's wrong? What am I doing wrong? We want to open up and, and allow that flow to come through us so we're gonna it's almost like opening to the learning being open to that learning okay then the, the last thing is is intention so you need to show up each day with the intention that you are going to allow that flow to move through you so you're not handing over your life in any way the universe has your back and you need to learn to trust that and that takes time but becoming aware of how the universe has your back, becoming aware begins with your intention um, to say, here I am, I'm gonna start my day, I'm gonna put 100% into my day, and I'm open to whatever comes through. Um, and then being aware, right? Taking, taking time to notice, how are you supported? around you? How, what are things that are unfolding that are supporting you? So it's almost like imagine driving down a country road and beautiful day, clear road, there's no traffic 
and you set your car on cruise and just sit back and allow the car to take you to your destination. So just letting go of that control and trusting that things are gonna work out better than you could ever imagine. The universe is way more powerful than we are and it wants you to be happier and more full of joy than you could ever imagine. And the universe has the power to maneuver events in life and let things unfold in a way that you couldn't even imagine. So stop trying to say, this is what needs to happen in order for me to be happy. Just allow the universe to flow through you and just say, I know you want me to be happy. I know you want things to go great for me. So I will get out of the way and then I will be here to do whatever you send the inspiration to me to do. So, so hopefully that helps you and um, <clears throat> you need to set your intention, 100% intention that you're going to show up and do what needs to be done for the day and follow the inspirations that come to you. So I will see you again in the Creation Guild and be sure to go to my website, check out my blogs, uh, lots of different tips in there on how to move energy, how to get back into your creative flow and have a beautiful and happy life. See you later. Have a great day.